Her cerebral cortex has been loaded. Can she hear us? Hear, see, understand, and identify more than 400 objects. If I continue filling her brain with more information, uh, in two weeks she'll have the intelligence and physical capabilities of a typical 15-year-old. Okay, maybe a little smarter than that. But she'll be 15. Oh, Victor, she's perfect. I know. Daddy's perfect little girl. Mm -hmm. <gasps> she blinked. She's trying to look at us. Frankie? I'm Vivica. Your mommy. Can she see me? She can't. Why not? Her battery pack is almost drained. She needs a charge. So? Charge her! I can't charge her until her bolts finish setting. It's okay, sweetie. A few more hours and she'll be completely stable. Oh, it's not that. Then... what? She's so beautiful and full of potential and it... It just breaks my heart that she'll have to live, you know, like us. And what's wrong with us? You're kidding, right? Viv, things won't be like this forever. Times will change. You'll see. How? Who's going to change them? I... I don't know. Someone will. Eventually. Well, I hope we'll be around to see it. Oh, we will be. We Steins tend to live long lives. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, Candace. Ah, uh, Augustine Porgan. Stop it, Candace. Huh? Huh? I don't get it. Melody survived 15 years breathing smog. One more wouldn't kill her. She could wear a mask. People could sign it like they sign casts. Maybe it would inspire a whole line of accessories for asthmatics, like inhalers on necklaces and... Oh, enough candy. But next September, I'll be in college. You couldn't wait one more year to move. This move will be good for all of us. It's not just about your sister's asthma. Merston High is one of Oregon's top schools. Plus, it's about connecting with nature and getting away from all that Beverly Hills superficiality. <laughs> yeah, right. My dad is a celebrated plastic surgeon, and my mom is a pro-personal shopper. Superficiality was their master, and they were at zombies. They're perfectly crafted human beings. Well, I was an anomaly. A rarity, an oddity. Abnormal. What's the point? Double chin, fang-like teeth, flat black hair, and my nose. Wonderful! No more Rudolph the Big-Nosed Reindeer. This is about her health, not her looks. Wow. Amazing. I guess things won't go wrong here. <laughs> Hello, Adorigan! <sighs> I can With my picture in city life. How could they even live without voltaceous bolts to keep them amped up? Oh, ooh. 
a good charge really itched my bolts. Oh, is that a perfume sample? Mmm, it smells good. Hey, Glitterati, you like? Me too. Do I smell vanilla? Yes. <laughs> How's Daddy's perfect girl? Morning, Dad. You look dead tired. <laughs> Worn and old, just like Viv. <laughs> Victor, stop it. Can we talk to you for a minute, sweetie? Sure. Have a seat, dear. Oh, no! Did they see how much I spent on iTunes? Don't pull on your stitches. There's nothing to be worried about. We just want to talk to you. Um, what's up? Change is in the air. Oh, no. Does this mean no more credit cards? Go on, Victor. Um... What did I last order? Season Pass of Gossip Girl, Orange Blossom Room Spray, Striped Hot Socks with Acute Toe Holes, Magazine Subscriptions for Us Weekly, Seventeen, Teen Vogue, Cosmic Girl, Horoscope App, Numerology App, Dream Interpreter App, Moroccan Oil, Hair Deep Frizzer, Current Elliot Boyfriend Jeans... <gasps> Nothing too major. Relax, dear. Relax? Relax? Mom and Dad are the only people I know! They're my best friends. My mentors! Disappointing them is like disappointing the entire world. Oh, this tension makes my bolts itch. <sighs> the summer is over. Your mother and I have to go back to teaching science and anatomy at the university. We can't homeschool you anymore. Huh? I'll take it from here, darling. <laughs> what your father is trying to say is that you are 15 days old. On each of those days, he implanted a year's worth of knowledge into your brain. Math, science, history, geography, languages, technology, art, Music, movies, songs, trends, expressions, social conventions, manners, emotional depth, maturity, discipline, free will, muscle coordination, speech coordination, sense recognition, depth perception, ambition, and even a small appetite. You have it all. And now that you're a beautiful, smart teenage girl, you're ready for <sighs> normie school. What's normie? Is that some kind of rehab program for shopaholics? A normie is someone with common physical traits. Like, um, uh, like them. Am I a normie? No, dear. Why? Because my hair is straight? <laughs> no, not because your hair is straight, but... Because I built you. But, Dad, didn't everyone's parents build them? You know, technically speaking. Yes, but I built you in the literal way. In this lab. From perfect body parts that I made with my hands. I programmed your brain full of information, stitched you together, and put bolts on the sides of your neck so that you could get charged. You have no real need for food other than enjoyment. And Frankie, because you have no blood, well, your skin, it's... it's green! <laughs> I know! <laughs> Isn't it voltage? It is. <laughs> That's why you're so special. No other student at your new school was made like that. Just you. 
You mean the school will have other people in it? Yes, dear. Oh my ghoul! Is this really happening? Are they really gonna let me cut loose and drop me in a school full of curly hair normies and expect me to fend for myself? Do they really have the heart to walk away from my education so that they could teach lecture halls full of perfect strangers instead? Voltage! <laughs> <laughs>